Hey, Adam, actually, we are expecting Officer Terrence Sutton to turn up here at the federal courthouse any minute now and turn himself into U.S. Marshals. Both he and Lieutenant Andrew Zabowski have pleaded not guilty to chasing Karan Hilton Brown into traffic and then covering up their role in his death. Prosecutors say Officer Sutton drove his unmarked cruiser through multiple stop signs and at speeds up to twice the residential limit as he pursued Karan Hilton Brown for allegedly riding his moped on the sidewalk without a helmet. After about three minutes, Hilton Brown rode out of an alley and was hit and killed by a passing car. Come on. A police department general order bans high-speed chases for traffic violations. And prosecutors allege both Sutton and Zabowski conspired to cover up their violation of the general order, failing to notify major crash investigations, misleading the watch commander, and driving over the evidence scattered in the roadway. Also, turning off their body cameras to conspire together. Justice for Quran! Hilton Brown's death led to days of protest last October. Justice for Quran! Justice for Quran! Demonstrators blasted fireworks and threw debris, and police responded with flashbangs and chemical agents. Lawyers for the officers argued that Hilton Brown was a known member of the Kennedy Street crew which allegedly operates an open-air drug market. That Hilton Brown had been stopped twice before as a juvenile with a handgun, and that police followed him that night because they believed he was armed and coming to take revenge after an argument on the street earlier in the day. An assistant U.S. attorney responded that it is the officers who were on trial for murder, conspiracy, and obstruction of justice, not Hilton Brown. Now, the judge here ordered Officer Sutton detained on home monitoring pending trial. Lieutenant Zabowski will be on what is called high intensity supervision. He told both of them to give up their guns and not to contact any of the other police officers who may end up being witnesses at the trial here at the federal courthouse. And again, this is the first time in just about anybody's memory that a DC police officer has been charged with murder for actions taken while he was on duty. Live at the federal courthouse in DC, Bruce Lachey and WUSA 9. Yeah, Bruce, this could certainly set a big precedent moving forward. I wanna to talk to you for a second about this second degree murder charge against the officer. How do they actually define that in the charging documents? Yeah, I knew you were going to ask me that. So I, I actually have the complaint here and uh, it, it outlines that it says conscious disregard for an extreme risk of death or serious bodily injury uh, that uh, somebody might have committed and was in this case allegedly committed upon Hilton Brown. So conscious disregard for extreme risk of death in D.C. and in the federal rules that potentially uh, constitute second degree murder. Right. Well, we expect to hear from D.C. Police Chief Conti here momentarily, and we're going to hope to bring that to you live as soon as we get that. Bruce, thank you for bringing us that update.